What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a quick look at Apple's new iPhone Lightning Dock, which just launched today for $39. You can pick it up right now from the Apple website or in the Apple Store. So this is the first time we're seeing an iPhone dock compatible with the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Now previously, Apple has launched specific docks for each phone that were form-fit to those phones, but instead this time Apple has launched a universal dock that's meant to work with basically any iPhone with a Lightning connector. So the iPhone 5 and newer and the iPod Touch fifth generation. The other great thing about this dock is that it's designed to fit cases, including Apple's cases and other third-party cases. And in case you're wondering or you just forgot, the lightning-equipped iPod Nano also works with this dock. In terms of packaging, pretty basic here. You have a little pull tab to open up the box. Inside, you'll find the lightning dock wrapped in plastic inside this little tray. The only accessory you get is some paperwork explaining how to use it along with your warranty guide. There is no lightning cable included because one came with your iPhone, otherwise you can buy one separately. In terms of the design, like a lot of Apple accessories, we have this glossy white plastic. On the bottom, you have this rubber foot for gripping the table. It's also weighted for stability like Apple's previous docks. The design overall is much wider in terms of its footprint, but it's the thinnest dock yet. So Apple likes thin, but of course the iPhone 6 Plus is bigger, so you need a larger or wider dock for stability. On the back, we have a lightning connector along with audio output, so you can connect your headphones to listen to your iPhone while it's plugged in. You can also connect a set of speakers. On the top, we have our lightning connector, which is angled just slightly for stability. And just below that, we have this little bumper, which raises the connector so it fits more cases. Of course, this isn't universal. It won't work with all cases. It depends on the thickness of the case, but I find most cases work, such as the spec candy shell I have here or one of Apple's cases. Now the other great thing about this design is that it raises the phone away from the dock so the speakers can operate normally as opposed to the design that we saw with the previous docks. Now using this style of dock can be a little clumsy because the phone just doesn't slot in like a form-fitting dock. You basically have to line up the phone by feel or by guessing and sometimes that means scraping the edge of the phone with a connector which isn't something I like to do but over time you kind of get a feel for it. Now in terms of stability it's actually really stable even for the large iPhone 6 Plus. Now it does move side to side just a bit on the connector, but otherwise I feel like this connector is strong enough both in the phone and the dock itself without causing damage. Now, although this dock is not expressly stated to work with any of the iPads, I find it actually works pretty well with the iPad mini. Uh, but definitely not as well with the iPad Air 2, although it will stay up, it's just not very stable. In fact, if you sneeze on it, it will probably fall over. And just like on the iPhones, the dock will work with iPads wearing cases, so that's a solution to consider. So although it's a little more awkward and clumsy to use, Apple has finally done what seemed obvious from the beginning, a universal dock that works with cases and that doesn't have to be upgraded every time you change your device. So finally, Apple produces a universal dock that's actually worth recommending. So that's gonna do for me in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.